you want to come? Do you want to come into the frame like a, like a secret? Like. <laughs> you just stand there. Right? Am I out? Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> I'm the special guest. <laughs> Sweet potato. Cone. <laughs> Cone. <laughs> Boy, we got a video for you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, don't look at me. Start a video. I'm a special <laughs> guest. <laughs> Welcome back. My name is Corinne Phillips, and this is Fresh Bay. <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. <sighs> Welcome back. My name is Corinne Phillips, and this is Fresh Bee Cooks. Today, I have a special guest. <laughs> Last time I was in this kitchen, we cooked some pizza, and that was good. Mm, that, that was, was good. good. So this is a little different, though. Mm, it's very different. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it, that was so hard to do. <laughs> Today, I have a special guest for you. Special guest. This is my brother, Cody. Why are you here? I'm here to get healthy. Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah. Ready to make some changes. And I just tipped the scale at 200 pounds. Today I have a special guest for you. Her brother. Special guest. <laughs> this is my brother Cody, aka Wrangler Star. And why are you here? I'm here because I I'm, I'm, want to get serious about getting healthy. Eating healthier, but more important than that, make it a way of life and not just something I do once a year. So what's been the hardest part for you? I have enjoyed the food. Uh, I could uh, gut it out and, and yeah, I could do this for two weeks or 10 days, but falling back into my old habits because I didn't like what I was eating. So I want, yeah. I want to, I know it's going to be a learning curve, but I want to have you help me find some things that I actually enjoy eating that are healthy. I can do that. Can you do that? Mm-hmm. Your whole life has been for this one moment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just basically like making sure that my, my loved people are well nourished is kind of my whole purpose. That's a good calling. All right, let's do this. So the approach for this one is not vegan, it's not vegetarian, it's not raw, but it's a lot of those things. Basically just a whole foods way of eating where you simplify, get rid of all of the processed stuff and create delicious meals out of fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds. Um, and your own garden. Yeah, and your weeds. Weeds? Yo, weed juice coming up. So I'm really excited. My sister Corinne has put a lot of work into this and the problem what I've had in the past with doing these vegetarian type of diets is that what I made was so gross that <laughs> it was not something I could sustain. And so I would like gut it out and, and fight through it. And she is taking a different approach. She's going to convince me that this is something that I could adopt as a way of life uh, that, that's actually this food can be delicious. It is delicious. I'm ready. I'm, I'm open. My mind is open. Yay. I'm, so, I'm stoked. Okay, good. I don't even know what I'm looking at, but I'm, ha I'm happy here. This is basically what you will eat in a day. A day? Okay. So where do we start? So for starters, you are a coffee drinker. Yeah. I'm giving up the coffee for the 21 days though. That's impressive. Yep. So the thing with giving up coffee, coffee is a stimulant. It's a drug and we become dependent upon it. Oh, so yeah. we get headaches and people mostly can't get past that three or four days. It's, yeah, take. It's, it's terrible. I mean, I'm almost, I'm, I can't even work the next day if I go without it. Yeah. And if, and if something causes you to be so distraught in the mornings, if you don't have it, you know that that's a, yeah. that's a <laughs> pow powerful addiction. It is. It is. And, and so, it's an expensive addiction. Yes. 
And so what I've done is I've tailored this whole thing to your specific needs because I know how you eat, I know the kind of stuff you like, the kind of stuff you don't like. So this is going to be sweeter and a little more fruit forward than I would eat myself personally. Mm -hmm. But I want you to like it. So that's really important. That's probably the most important because palate is learned. Mm -hmm. So you drink coffee with heavy cream in the morning. Yeah, heavy. Not, not half and half, but the heavy cream heavy cream yeah. and so that's really calorically dense and you're used to that so I've gotten a substitute for you that's equally calorically dense it has ghee in it coconut cream coconut water um, turmeric and ginger what about the caffeine part of it so that's where green tea comes into play you can start your morning with green tea there's enough caffeine in there that will mitigate that headache but um, this is going to give you that full feeling okay This is going to be the caffeine replacement. Now, yes. I, I guess what ultimately I would like to, to wean myself off of caffeine altogether. Yeah. But I don't know that I want to go through the pain right. of the detox on it. Right. So you're saying this might kind of take that edge off a little bit. So I stopped drinking coffee. Now, we're Oregonians for most of you. Like, coffee runs business. in our blood. Our oceans are polluted with caffeine. <laughs> Which it's is, true. I know. So I stopped drinking coffee, it's been maybe 16 years now, um, and I don't, I don't draw the line with no caffeine or caffeine. I think chocolate is really good for us if you mm -hmm. eat really dark, good quality chocolate, and it has caffeine in it naturally. So I drink green tea in the mornings, but the difference with coffee and green tea is I am not a beast to be around if I don't get my green tea. Oh, yeah. Like a lot of times I'll just like, oh, I forgot my tea or I made it and then I abandoned it because I got busy and I didn't drink it. You know, that's funny because, I mean, that is that that is absolutely the first thing, the essence of life when, when we wake <laughs> up. It's like, oh, to bed, someone's down there and you're, you know, you're boiling the water. I mean, it, it's, what does that tell you? I know. That, I mean, that's more important than going to the bathroom. It's more important than... Being polite than to your spouse. Being polite, yeah. <laughs> being polite to your spouse is more important than anything. Um, I know. That's a powerful I addiction. Know. Yeah, it really is. So this is, this was how I weaned myself off of coffee. Some of them can be super grassy and taste like you're drinking lawn clippings, but they're not all that way. There's hundreds if not thousands of different green teas that you can choose so if you don't find one that you like persevere these are a couple of my favorites jasmine um i've, I've got to keep it real here though okay. that what the first thing that came to mind when i smelled this was lawn clippings yeah <laughs> i know it Before is you grassy, it. Oh, okay. it's grassy. It, it is grassy yeah so green tea, just for starters, green tea is the natural tea plant that hasn't been fermented. Black tea, oolong, those have all been fermented. So this is just pretty much straight up. It, it has been processed slightly. So the teas that I prefer are jasmine. This one is fragranced with um, um, jasmine flowers, and it's... That smells much better. Lovely. And it takes that grassiness away in a really nice way. Another one that's really good for beginner green tea drinkers is Gen Maicha. This one is flavored with toasted rice. So a lot of times in Japanese restaurants when you get a green tea and it tastes very ricey, like almost like popcorn, it's Gen Maicha. And this is a really good beginner tea. Okay, that's all nice, but let's try it. You want to try it? The proof is in the, in the eating of the pudding. <laughs> So this is this is you know, all this is um, kind of turned into kind of a fun little ritual with your. Oh yeah, I love things making things and... beautiful because for me the beauty is the creation. Um, so I've got the water on. The thing about green tea is it gets really bitter under two circumstances: water that's too hot and steeping it too long, actually three, and putting too much tea in your cup. So if you're doing loose tea, which I generally do. Um, start with a really small pinch and like work your way up and you want to steep it between one and two minutes Maximum if you forget it for five minutes. It's so bitter. You can't drink it. I've had that before <laughs> Sencha is a kind of green tea. That's really traditional. It's really classic It's probably the most popular type of green tea, but it's also one of the earthiest and the most grassy 
I like it, but if you're new to green tea, Sencha might be um, one that you want to work your way into. So you can smell that one. That's long clippings. <laughs> it's, I mean, it smells similar to this one. Yeah. That's a type I can't of... say I have a real refined... You know, I, I, the thing, I don't smell very well, and I, and I know that I'm allergic to dairy, mm -hmm. and it's a, it feels like a real inflammatory, inflammatory to me, yeah. but the addiction with the coffee is stronger, <laughs> is stronger than going through not being able to smell anything in your life. So. And the thing about a plant-based diet... This is a little more subtle. People, this is a way higher grade tea. This is, this is like what I use to brew my kombucha with. Okay. This one's way more delicious. And you have to have tea in a cup and saucer. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so the ideal temperature for green tea is 175 to 180. If you have a traditional teapot, um, it's basically when the bubbles just start to break on the edge of the pot. If you listen for it, these kettles, these um, electric kettles, a lot of them have settings. So this one has a green, an oolong, a white, a black, and a coffee. Oh, didn't know, I've never seen that. So if you don't have that, like we have one that's just on and off, is yeah. it when you first start hearing the bubbles on the side, that's yes. when you pull it off, you don't need to go to a full rolling boil? No. Or if you do go to a rolling boil, open the lid and wait about 10 minutes. So I have always this strong desire to, I know. You know, to fish it around. So you just leave it alone? <laughs> just leave it alone. Like I want to take it and squeeze it. And... Well, that will just release more of those tannins, the bitter stuff that yeah. you don't want. Well, I always said more is always better except for salt. Yeah. Not always the case. Not always the case. Mm -hmm. So I love green tea. I love the ritual of it. I have a little pot. I fill it up. I know it's four cups. I sit for 45 minutes in the morning and read, and that's how long it takes me to drink my tea. And then I'm ready to face the world. So, so I've got the, this is the tea bag. So you have got, you're just using the raw tea. And this is a reusable strainer. I'm probably messing up your system here. No. It's, just a reusable strainer. Yeah. It's and really can, fine. It is fine. And that one's tea specific. Um, I've got a couple of these that go into cups, mugs. But you can also just use these little. Mm-hmm. It just, it's just got to be strainers. submerged then. Mm -hmm. So how much caffeine is in this? I don't know, and I think it depends on the specific green tea. I think it's like a third of what coffee has. So would you recommend if you're just coming off of it maybe to make this a little stronger? Would it be two bags, or is that would it be better? You or? could do stronger, but you run the risk of making it bitter. Okay. So. Well, it might be, a, if it's survival mode, it might just be bottoms up type of thing <laughs> and three tea bags, right? Plug your nose and drink it. <laughs> I mean, it's not that much. Ready? We're gonna try it. Well, I uh, I drink them all the time. This is oh no, no big deal. <laughs> it's it's, it's a, it has a toasty smell. Mm-hmm. It's the toasted rice. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it's bad. Mm-hmm. I would I would drink it for the caffeine, but mm -hmm. it's uh, it would be an acquired taste, I think. Mm -hmm. No, it's I mean it's it's kind of nutty and toasty and. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like a vegetable or like grass. Yeah, it tastes like hot water, basically. I find I don't find it offensive. <laughs> but like you said, I think that once you, you know, your body starts to readjust and mm -hmm. you stop eating a one on everything, you might be able right. to taste something right. a little more, a little more yeah. sensitive. Who knew? Okay. I know. Yeah. Okay, I can do that. Green tea tasting. Yeah. Pretty good. That's uh, that'll be the coffee replacement. <laughs> I have to say that I like the. Uh, I knew you would. The milk. Yeah. The gold milk. No, golden milk. Yeah. I like that. I, I can see the two would be. Yeah. Kind of together. Start off with your tea and then look forward to your golden milk. Yeah, I'll probably put two of those in there. Okay, you can do that. You want to try it? Yeah, I would love to try it. It smells more like a, a, a Thai soup. It's almost like, well, it's the components that they use in curry without, but this is sweet, without the savory spices. And so this would be something that would you, that you're going to serve, you're going to drink out of like a coffee cup in the morning. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and then and we can pre-make this? You can pre-make it, and you can even make several days worth and then just heat it up. So I have a recipe for this on my channel. It's called Golden Milk. 
so I won't bore you with the um, the details of that. But this is basically turmeric, ginger, a little bit of black pepper, coconut water, coconut milk. This is basically replacing the fat that yes. uh, the body gets used to from that. You know, I, I don't know if yeah. you know this, but I've been using butter. I know. Like a half a stick of butter in my coffee. <laughs> okay, so here we and go. And the thing about... It smells delicious. It is delicious. Oh, it's sweet. It has honey in it. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could drink it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this would really help with the, you know, the thing about coffee is that tradition. Yeah. Or that, that ritual. Yes. You know, we sit down in the morning and mm -hmm. we have it. This is mm -hmm. a, a way to have that to kind of trick your body. Is yeah. This. Yeah. That's really good. I, I actually like that. Isn't that yummy? And the thing about this versus Bulletproof Coffee, Bulletproof Coffee has a lot of calories, so it makes you feel full but it really has very little nutrient value. This is nutrient dense. I actually, I have to say, honestly say I really like this. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep it here and drink it. It's delicious. That's really good. Isn't it good? So if I have a cup of this in the morning, I just forget to eat breakfast. It's like two o'clock, I'm like, oh, I'm hungry. Because it's that. Um... That's why I started putting butter in my coffee. Mm -hmm. it, it almost, you could skip breakfast with it. Yeah. So this is your breakfast option for your first day. It's called the Jen's Cleanse. So for starters, we're gonna make a juice. And I'll show you one of my favorite ways to eat this whole giant bunch of kale in one go. I've never eaten so much kale. <laughs> in one go? Yeah. When I would, would make it, I would, I'd like pick a piece off yeah, there I and know. throw it in with some oranges. <laughs> and, like, yeah, and a half a pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna get out the juicer and we're gonna make a juice. I've also um, went out in my yard and collected a whole bunch of dandelions. This is one of nature's powerhouses, and yes, these are the exact same ones that are growing in your lawn. Um, if you treat your lawn, don't use them. You want non-spray dandelions. Those are not the weed and feed dandelions. No, these are these are all natural. Okay. So we're gonna add some dandelions. Um, to our kale, we're going to use apples, lemon, and some ginger. Lemon and ginger, if you're not used to juicing, using vegetables, and you just can't get past that green flavor, mm -hmm. these are nature's miracle masks. The thing about lemon is you want to juice the peel, the whole thing. Just cut it into quarters and juice the whole oh, thing. Oh, I always peel them. Yeah. Oh, I love ginger and lemon. You can't really beat Delicious. that. Delicious. Powdered sugar. Yeah. Yeah. So that's going to be your breakfast juice, dandelion, kale, apple, lemon, ginger, um, and then I'm going to add turmeric root. This is the most anti-inflammatory food that we know of. And if you can find it fresh, great. If you can't, it's readily available in powdered form. So I'm, I pretty much throw this size piece of turmeric into every juice. Wow. There's, there's a piece bigger than that in your golden milk. This is good. Yeah. really good. <laughs> it's delicious. Golden milk. Golden milk. That's an old Ayurvedic, um, really, really old Ayurvedic recipe. It, it actually tastes a lot better than coffee. It's delicious. Like if you had given, you give someone a choice that never had either one, which <laughs> yeah. one, which oh, one yeah. do you think they'd pick? <laughs> <Get> that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yummy. All right, so okay. let's get the juicer out. So we'll get the juicer out and we'll start with the juice. So this is the, this is the breakfast. This is your breakfast. Okay, so I've had my coffee substitute. Yep. Okay. What's this? I'm not eating that. <laughs> right, let's juice it. Just a minute. This is a very nice, yeah. nice juicer, isn't it? <laughs> the, this whole thing? Yeah, whole thing. And what, what was that? That was like, it's like ginger, right? Turmeric. Turmeric. Mm -hmm. How's that different than ginger? It's very similar. They're both the roots to a tropical plant. Um, turmeric is better anti-inflammatory than ginger. Now you do the seeds and all. I do everything. Peels, and, seeds. And so what's, what's with the... I always get the arsenic argument. Is that just nonsense or? You'd have to eat, I think, pounds and pounds. That's of what them. I thought. That's what I figured. You don't think lemon skin off? No, it's the good part. That's where all the flavor is. Now it's different with an orange. Orange, they're very bitter. If you leave the skin on. Okay. But limes and lemons, you can get away with it. Well, this is a whole lot easier than uh, the, your, the traditional breakfast and yeah, you know, all and of the prep and. It's actually a very delightful experience, isn't it? <laughs> I enjoy it. It's very nice. It's kind of like your Zen meditation when you're in the morning. It is. Like, and you got this nice little stick. And, <laughs> I know. And those colors are just it's incredible. Beautiful. 
I think of this juice as green lemonade. Like it's as delicious as a lemonade, um, but you get this mass of kale. Well, the juices that I've, I mean, I haven't been very deliberate about the juices that I've made, and I just, it's, it's something I kind of dread. I, I just, I figured the worse it tastes, the better it is for me. But you're saying that's not necessarily, that doesn't have to be that way? No. Sometimes I throw almonds or nuts or different things in mine. What, what's your opinion on that? In smoothies, I think it's fantastic. In the oh yeah, in the shakes, yeah, yeah. smoothies. Mm -hmm. I think it's fantastic. So, Oats are another good addition. Beef pollen. Beef pollen is forty percent protein, and it has almost every nutrient that we need. Really excellent food for you. So anytime you can add additional nutrients into your smoothies, I think I think it's a good thing. I was surprised when we went to Costco yesterday that. Uh, you know, normally our food bill, when we go in like that for the whole month, is I mean, it's close to $600. Yeah. And, and a good portion of that comes from cheese and, and beef and dairy and, and all of those things. Uh, I was surprised that it wasn't more than it was yesterday. I think it came out to like $250 mm -hmm. or so. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of food. That's for the whole family. Yeah. Uh, for you know, a couple for weeks. A couple weeks. Yeah. The thing is with food is there's a cost involved and it's either gonna cost your time or your, your health. If you don't want to pay with your time, you're gonna pay with your health because you're gonna buy more packaged foods, more convenience items. And it really, there is a cost savings when you eat whole foods, you just have to know how to cook. Well, my experience with the past, it, I mean, that all of that is absolutely true, but then there's the quality of life at the time too. Right. Um, and how productive you could be and how clear you are. I mean, I, when I eat bad, uh, I don't, I, I'm good for about six hours of work, but if I eat really good, I can work 10, 12 hours and, yeah. then, and then sleep, I sleep better. Yeah. Uh, it's it's m more than just the financial part of it. Yes. Okay, I think yeah. that, that's, a, that's a big, chunk, big uh, jug of juice there. In our juicer, I'd have quite a bit more of this just from the carrots. Just yeah. one glass of carrot juice would be more than that. Yeah. Look at that. And it's dry. It's like sawdust almost. It is absolutely dry. Mm -hmm. huh. So sometimes we strain this. Do you, do you strain it? I don't because I don't mind any additional. I want the fiber actually. Right. I like it. If the, the texture is just too off for you, you certainly can strain it. The nice thing about the angel juicers is you can get different attachments for soft fruit and hard fruit. So this, this is a, this could be kind of a, this is geared for a morning. Mm -hmm. This is kind of your morning. Yeah, because you wanted, cheers. Well, it smells lemony. <laughs> you wanted a sweet morning. You didn't want to wake up and start his day off with a big vegetable juice. Well, normally I don't, I, I plug my nose when I drink these. Mm -hmm. It tastes, takes courage for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We could probably put a couple more apples oh, in good. this one. Mm -hmm. it's Make good. it a little bit sweeter. Oh, I like the, the lemon is so strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if... If I was blindfolded and I would drink this, I would think it would be not green. Yeah, no, you wouldn't expect it to be green. Yeah. Man, I love editing the footage when my brother comes over. Um, it's just such a pure joy of having a friend that grew up with you, somebody that knows every part of your history in such a very personal way and, and holds that respectfully. Um, it's really beautiful. I was editing the beginning and the outtakes and I was laughing and laughing and it's just I feel very, very, very blessed to have somebody in my life. He's never hurt me. We've always had a mutual respect and a mutual love for one another and I'm just, I'm really grateful for you, Cody. Thank you. Okay, that made me cry. I've included two more videos for you. I wanted to put this all into one series, but at 22 minutes, it was looking like an impossibility. So I've broken them out into their own separate videos. The first one is how to make chlorella cream. Chlorella is a single celled organism that is one molecule away from human hemoglobin. It's basically um, chlorophyll, it's plant blood, and it's so beneficial to us on a cellular basis. So in the video on the top, I show Cody a really delicious way to integrate more chlorella into his daily foods. The video on the bottom, we've taken a concept that's fairly universal, the smoothie, and we've turned it into a meal, a smoothie bowl. This way you get to put lots of fiber-rich fruits 
and nuts and seeds and additional protein and all sorts of good stuff into your bowl. But better yet, it creates a meal out of something that was just a beverage. So we have digestive enzymes in our mouth that really are vital for proper digestion. So when you chew your food, you're already beginning to break that down and you're signaling your digestive tract to get started. So smoothie bowls are a wonderful way to take something really healthy that you might have used as just, you know, a snack in between meals and to actually make a meal out of it. You'll see the link for shopfreshpea.com. That goes straight to my Amazon store where I've collected all my favorite ingredients, all my everyday items, things like teapots, juicers, my favorite cooking utensils, and I've put them into one place in an easy shoppable Amazon store. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love to invite you to join the best subscribers on YouTube. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next video.